This is a female patient, age 30 years, named Shahida, and uh, she referred to me for evaluation of uh, severe right hypochondrial pain with no history, clinical examination notes, any investigation whatsoever uh, has been provided, no lab investigations have been provided. So I have to scan at my own. I am placing the probe below the costal margin and uh, giving a sweep up to the lumbar region under the costal margin to see if the liver is enlarged. There is liver is not enlarged because I see gases all over below the costal margin. These are power gases. No liver tissue is seen below the costal margin. This is a typical dirty shadow of the power. These are also power gas shadows. So now when I place the probe transversely in the mid epigastric region below the xiphoid process I see the aorta and the superior mesenteric artery rising from it, the celiac axis, the celiac axis. and however this is the liver with sharp angle, smooth outer surface and the left lobe of the liver in the longitudinal section has a smooth uh, outer surface with normal current chimal ecogenicity and homogeneous texture. Well, I do get an uh, impression that there is some dilation of the vessels over here. So I'm going to move to the region of the porta hepatis to see if the common bile duct is dilated. Uh, there is a uh, what is the status of the gallbladder? So when I come in the intercostal space with patient lying supine, I see significant amount of uh, significant degree of intrahepatic bile duct ectasia. So you see these are all dilated bile ducts. These are all bile ducts dilated. This is the common bile duct and you can see calculus, calculi within the CBD. These are the calcifications gathered together measuring approximately 12.3 millimeters and with sharp shadow that they are giving posteriorly. So this is a case of polydocolithiasis. Polydocolithiasis. with obstructive jaundice. This is C means calculus. This is the calculus. This is the common bile duct. This is the portal vein. And the CBD measures calculus measures 13 millimeters and the common bile duct measures 15.7 millimeters which is not normal. The normal should not exceed more than 7 centimeters in longitude uh, in, uh, with intact gallbladder. This is the liver with smooth outer surface, homogeneous texture, eco normal ecogenicity. This is the... So, at least we have seen that the common bile duct is dilated and uh, it has a calculus of 13 millimeters within it that are giving sharp posterior shadow and uh, the lumen is clear. The rest of the lumen of the common bile duct is clear. The walls are normal. Now this is the this is the gallbladder. This pear shaped area that you are seeing, this is the GB that is seen in this shape in this patient. This is the gallbladder. There is no calculus no debris seen in the gallbladder and this is the portal vein, it's landmark. This is the portal vein, this is the diaphragm and these are the dilated bile ducts, intrahepatic bile ducts. And they extend up to the periphery of the 
you can see they extend up to the periphery of the liver and they are seen in both lobes of the liver. This is the left lobe, this is the left lobe of the liver and we can see intrahepatic dilatation in these areas as well. Now I'm going to ask the patient to take a left lateral decubitus posture. Again you can see a calculus. This is a calculus, this is dilated common bile duct, portal vein, inferior vena cava, intrahepatic bile duct atasia, gallbladder, muscle holder. Here again you see that this is, uh, we can see the double barrel sign of uh, dilated common, dilated CBD. This is the region of the porta hepatis. This is the gallbladder. This is the common bile duct with a calculus. And this is the GB, gallbladder. This is the portal vein, this one. And this tiny cystic area with the borders is the hepatic artery.